So I actually had plans to not post a video today. I was just gonna take it easy, play a few different games, farm a bit, record, maybe grab some squad up action. But, oh my, did we just get some information that I needed to drop into a video for you. My name is Latuna Buzz Lightbeer and welcome to my YouTube channel. And today we got all the specifics for the Division II Expertise and Conflict Wipe Compensation Packages, of which I just received mine, and I'm going to show you that in just a second. Plus, the Division community's favorite gear set just got a pretty hefty nerf. But before we dive into today's video, in case you aren't yet a sub, please smash that big, beautiful subscribe button and ring the bell to stay up to date on all things Division related. Let's get this one started. Okay, so the morning started off with this tweet from the official Division 2 Twitter account. I'm just going to read it to you. It says, Expertise and conflict compensation caches will be delivered to your inboxes today. So I know a lot of you experienced the rollbacks as far as the expertise, the kill XP issues. And then for others of you that joined into conflict, all your upgrades were wiped. This is apparently how the team is going to compensate you. They're delivering these caches, which I'm going to show you in a moment, which are stocked full with quite a few materials. They've got a details to a link over to the UB forum write up for this. I'm going to include the link in the video description. Of course, I'm going to read you the post in just a moment as well. But the second part of this, I think some people are going to miss out on. Pay very close attention to this. It says if the inbox limit is exceeded, additional caches will be put in a queue. So if you're due 10 caches, let's say, and you only have room for three in your additional inbox area of your stash, they're only going to deliver the three. The other seven will be waiting for you. So if you open those three or maybe you clear up some more room, I would advise you log off or just log out completely of the game log back in you may need to do it a few times but hopefully those additional caches that you're due will show up i was only due one i'm going to show it to you in just a moment don't open all caches at once they've got a disclaimer here when you hit the cap all excess materials are lost so if you're kind of maxed out on all your materials i wouldn't advise you just go open up your cache if it's just one or if you've got like 10 don't open them all at once because all the excess once it fills up your materials overall for your character and by the way they did raise that i'm going to talk about that in a moment uh anyway any excess you're going to lose uh especially once you drop off that session so if you crash if you're on pc don't get me started but if you crash you're going to lose all the excess on the floor uh if you log out of your session you're going to lose it so be very careful with that Okay, so the second part of this, and this was that link over to that UB forum post. Here it is. I'm going to read it to you. It says, hello, agents. We are happy to announce that the expertise and conflict rollback compensation containing blue, green, and gray materials, as well as, so additionally, field recon data, printer filaments, shade calibration, and exotic materials is on the way. They're saying it's on the way. It's already being received. I already got mine. I'll show you that. We have calculated precisely how many levels each agent lost and are compensating accordingly by granting one cache for every 20 levels lost. These caches contain everything you need to level one item up to 20. This number is also rounded up. So if you lost 25 levels, we grant you two caches. Uh, that would be a, qu a good question for chat. How many levels did you lose? How many compensation packages did you receive overall? Remember, don't open them all at once. To ensure everyone have space for the materials, we have raised the caps. Pay attention to this. Raise your, I guess, your, your character caps on printer filaments, protective fabric, receiver components, polycarbonate, ceramic steel, carbon fiber, titanium, and electronics to 9,999. So they really raised that field recon and shade calibration to 1000 and exotic components up to 999. So these are huge increases in what your characters can carry now as far as mats. So a ton of them got raised up to 9999 field recon and shade calibration up to 1k 1000 and exotic components got a huge buff up to 999. This was done for this expertise and conflict compensation rollout specifically, but you can expect 
an increase of the cap for all the crafting and optimization materials in the future as part of our mission to implement continuing quality of life improvements. The material caches will be delivered to your inboxes today, Thursday, June 9th. Please bear in mind that if the inbox limit is exceeded, additional caches will be put in a queue and will be added to your inbox when there is space, which I already touched on as part of their tweet and also says warning. So here they are again warning you, even though we are raising the cap, do not attempt to open all caches simultaneously once you hit the cap the excess materials will be lost instead we would recommend you open a couple at a time then spend your materials as you will reach the cap fast that's from the division 2 development team so a lot going on there compensation packages are coming out I'm gonna show you mine give me one second I'll switch over to that screen Okay, so as promised, here we are at my stash. You can see over there the mailbox is at one of 60, so I got one of them. Check that out, 4,500 receiver components, 4,500 protective fabric, 1,525 steel, 1,525 ceramics, 1,525 polycarbonate, 2,625, that's 2,625 on titanium, electronics, carbon fiber, uh, printer filament 4500 you also get 55 exotic components 240 field recon data and 110 shade calibration per cache okay so again quite a bit happening just on that initial surge of tweets that we got we found out the compensation packages for the rollbacks and uh for the wipe issues for conflict came out i just showed them to you so as if we didn't get enough news we also got this response to this tweet. Uh, this is from Yannick over on Twitter. And this one's, this one's going to hit you right in the chest. Okay, so this is the nuclear strike that uh, was kind of missed. It's not in the patch notes, but here it is. In a response to this initial question from Nightlife565, where he fires off a tweet at Yannick, he says, Was there any work done to the Heartbreaker set? I'm doing significantly less damage now, going from 1.5 mil to 800k to 900k. So apparently uh, Nightlife went in with his Heartbreaker gear set and noticed, hey, I'm doing a lot less damage. Uh, to which Yannick responded, actually, yes. We're going to be adding it to the patch notes. So it's not in the patch notes. Nobody was expecting this. We changed the stacks on Heartbreaker to be additive instead of multiplicative. Let me say that again. We changed the stacks on Heartbreaker to be additive instead of multiplicative, which was not the intended behavior. Uh, I'm sure there's plenty of videos out there on the internet on how the Division and the Division 2 both place damage or differing damage types into different categories. In general, I don't want to get into too many specifics, but in general, you want to stack as many differing multiplicative damage talents onto your build uh, because versus additive where they just all kind of add together in one category when you actually space them out and you multiply them and you multiply them and you multiply them hence the multiplicative you're going to push out significantly more damage so i guess everyone kind of already knew that heartbreaker the stacks were actually causing multiplicative damage that's why our damage was spiking so much and it felt great in pve uh, apparently not so much in pvp from what i was reading people were not happy with it there was also an issue with the way that you were able to build stacks even without hitting headshots etc but that is a huge 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 change because heartbreaker is everyone's baby right now i'm going to show you some differences give me one second to switch over those screenshots and let's roll the footage. It's gonna roll by pretty quickly. This is from my original Heartbreaker build guide. You can see I'm pushing out 2.2 million uh, with the Heartbreaker and yeah, I was using the Kingbreaker as well, which is kind of the combo. You can see kind of the gear set and action here and building up stacks, etc. cetera. Uh, but anyway, I was pushing out 2.2 million headshot crits so keep that in mind 2.2 million thereabouts all right and this footage was grabbed this morning you can see me up on max stacks when i'm just obliterating hitting as hard as i can now with the gear set i'm pushing out 1.709 million okay so 1.709 down from basically 2.2 mil right 
That's a big difference. I did the math. You're looking at 508 K 508,000 difference between what the heartbreaker king breaker duo used to do pre nerf to this morning. I did actually a little bit of math ahead of time. You're looking overall at a, I guess a damage decrease, a nerf of 23%. That's how much it hit. And in terms of the difference now from changing it from multiplicative to additive. Um, wow. You know, I'm going to weigh in on this issue. Um, I'm, never shy to post my opinions as far as the videos go of course we're running completely off the script here maybe the video is running a little long i apologize for that but the optics of this right now uh, as far as the other issues that are going on with the game you know we've gone through this series of rollbacks we had wipes with conflict the uh, damage stacking issues and the boo i've mentioned it in several videos there's still mammoth mammoth issues with uh, crashing not just on pc i've had a lot of you respond it's also on console the game just freezes up and locks up your consoles it does so for me on pc it's it's way less than optimally stable if you want to call that and then we come out with this hefty nerf to heartbreaker now heartbreaker wasn't hurting anything in terms of pve it actually made it enjoyable it was the one thing that everyone was using right everyone was using heartbreaker heartbreaker all blue build heartbreaker all red build heartbreaker with you know the acs 12 building up stacks or maybe you're over there running with a scorpio or you've got your king breaker on it it really made the game enjoyable everyone was using heartbreaker and i gotta tell you I used it uh, to grab some footage earlier on today on Countdown. The the way the gear set feels, it's noticeably weaker than it was. I mean, it dropped 23%. Let's call it a quarter. A quarter of the damage was lost on this. Uh, stats alone, and just stepping away from it, the optics of this don't look good. I don't like it when these kind of things are done. I know there were some issues. Uh, there was some talk within you know what we were hearing out in the community certain certain dev team members were speaking openly about you know they were trying to sort it out because you know let's be honest i think a lot of it had to do with what people were seeing in pvp they were trying to sort it out for for pvp and the talk was if if they couldn't sort it out for pvp alone they weren't going to touch it well they've come in and touched it with a one broad stroke, it's now been reduced by a quarter of the damage, and that's significant. When you're hitting for 500k less per shot when you're on max, you know, hitting headshots and you know, critting, that is a significant reduction in power. So, overall, I think it was the wrong time. I think it was too heavy-handed. If it if it was clearly breaking one aspect of the game, PvP, but PvE players were loving it, there should have been a, a much more detailed deep dive into this. So it could have been handled maybe with the way that stacks were building or etc. or how many stacks you could get uh, within the PvP realm. But to see this right now, wrong timing, wrong attitude to take i don't like it anytime when power is taken away from players and i know i'm going to be reading this in the comment section there's going to be all these comments well you know the devs looking at it oh the players are too powerful let's nerf another gear set into the ground i know i'm going to be reading that i know everyone kind of has that inclination this broke my heart i love the heartbreaker gear set i play pve I love the way that it worked. Maybe it needed a small adjustment, but a 25% reduction, or maybe, you know, the way the stacks were building, even though they weren't supposed to be building in a specific way, you know, maybe they could have just required, you know, having that headshot. I know some people were using uh, the, the laser pointer, etc. but there could have been other ways to handle this. This is, this is a sad day for this gear set. I'm just going to say it. It's a very very sad day for heartbreaker i'm gonna go ahead and end this one right here and i look forward to reading your feedback in the comment section below please keep it civil this is not pvp versus pve this is heartbreaker got nerfed across the board 
Please make sure to smash that sub button and ring the bell to stay up to date on all my latest uploads. If you could take a few seconds more to rate and or share this video, it would be greatly appreciated. Remember, you can find and follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and over on my community Discord server, which just recently passed over 5,000 members strong. Anyway, all links to my socials in the video description below. Until the next one, this is Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer, signing off.